Olympics and Asia. Carried by number two for Evans County, Michael Smith Jr. Hey. Play games one yard, bring up second and nine. Ball's on the 46 yard line of Evans County. Mixing on the carry. Play is dead, flags on the field. Looks like offside in Dodge County. Offside is Dodge County. Five yard penalty brings up second and four for Evans County. Banks Hunt hands off to Christian Nixon. Johnson will bring him down for Dodge County, but not before he picks up a first down at the Dodge 44 yard line. All right, first down, Evans County. 6.58 left in the first quarter. Canada will keep the ball. It'll be covered by the quarterback, Hearn. Hearn, the quarterback. Loss of three yards on the play to bring up second and 13. All right, second and 13. Quite a few North Dodge Elementary kids out there. 0-0, zero, zero, first quarter, 6-13, clock's running. Ball start. From the illegal procedure, Evans County will back him up five more yards. He's second down and 18. It's going to bring up second and 18. Mixon. He's tackled immediately by Carrion Williams. And bring up third down. All right, third and long. About 15. Is it off? It's going to be stopped. Oh, still up. All right, they're going to bring him down. Around the 45 yard line, they're going to punt the ball away. 505. Clock's we'll running. 0 0. So if Dodge County wins this game, they will go to state, from what I understand. This is the district playoffs. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Dodge County. And that's going to be taken for the touchdown by number 32, Cam Hughes. Cam Hughes, North Dodge Elementary. Cam Hughes with a long 60, some odd yard touchdown on the punt return. Cameron Hughes. <laughs> Crowds over there liking it. 
Hughes. Shout out to Cam Hughes. This is a good look at what we got in the future for Dodge Thank County. Scarlett says, great job. He gonna be smiling from ear to ear tomorrow. Flag on the play. Substitution That'll be declined by Dodge County. All right, they're going to decline it. So it'll be eight seven to or Dodge eight to County nothing. Lead. Dodge County. Not sure how clear that scoreboard is. Appreciate you guys tuning in to the Dean Network. We watch, support our Dodge County Indians, 12 and under, all-star team. As I said earlier, if they win this game, they will go to state. From what I understand, they played two games uh, last Saturday, I believe, in Hazelhurst, maybe. And they won the first game, lost the second game. Not sure how that works with the playoff brackets and everything. Number 26, Landon Sheffield kicking off the back. Last year, this team won the state, if I'm not mistaken. Mixon and Smith back deep to the turn kick. The device just went crazy. I think I might have hit the wrong buttons. Sorry about that. Sorry about that because that was a recovery for Dodge County. So I did miss the recovery on the kick return by Dodge County. So Dodge County will take over first and 10, 47 yard line. My devices. Y'all bear with me one second while I get my device situated. That's number 19, Jeremiah Austin on the carry. All right, hopefully I'm not having issues with my device here. 12 and under, 12 and under. 10 and under, from what I understand, played Thursday, I think. Daryl Johnson. Let me get myself line. adjusted here. My camera's device here is acting up. Sheffield on the carry to check the flag. Landon Sheffield on the carry. It's 322 left in the first quarter. 
Meanwhile, I'm trying to see what's going on with my and devices. Legal motion on Dallas County and the play will come back. Your five yard penalty, first and 15. Five yard penalty, first and 15. Sauce Evans County. Definitely apologize for this inconvenience here with my device. I'm trying to get it figured out. At the same time, holding, having to hold the phone, which I usually don't have to do. All right, touchdown, Dodge County. Duke Johnson with the touchdown. Jeremiah Austin on the care. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremiah Austin on the care. 14 0. 247 left in the first quarter. Definitely apologize for this inconvenience here. Not sure what's going on with my device. Mentally will attempt the extra points. Kick is up. Kick is good. Mincy. Kane Mincy with this point. 16 nothing. Two forty seven left in the first quarter. Sheffield. Smith and Mixon back deep. Second ball number 81, Tyshawn Butler. And he will fall on the ball at the 35 yard line for Reverend King. Tackle by Landon Sheffield. Landon Sheffield with the tackle. Dawson Butler also in the tackle. Dawson Butler. Also a North Dodge student when he was in elementary school. Fall start Evans County. 
Minute 49 left in the first quarter, 16-0. Dodge County leading Evans County. Bring up second and long. Gonna be second and long. He's brought down by Jeremiah Austin. Jeremiah Austin. For Tucker. And we got third and long. Third and long. Minute five left in the first quarter. I think on the second quarter, I'm going to temporarily jump off the, the live feed and see if I can figure out what's going on with my device. So unfortunately we will miss a little bit of action but I'll be back with, up with you guys as soon as possible. Landon Sheffield on the tackle. That's going to force a Landon Sheffield down. with the tackle. That is a punt of football. Back deep is Daryl Johnson and Cam Hughes. Daryl Johnson, Cam Hughes deep to receive. Alvin Masute will punt for Evans County. All right, we got a guy coming out late. All right, so that's the end of the first. I'm going to jump off this feed, see if I can get my gimbal situated, and I'll join you back as soon as I can. All right, we got 6-12 left in the first quarter. Touchdown, Daryl Johnson. All right, so we didn't miss much action. We missed a few plays. I believe I have my device situated here. Hopefully, we do. Dodge County just scored another touchdown. Daryl Johnson, 22 yards, or 22 to nothing. Right there attempting the extra point. Kane Mincy will attempt the extra point. Kane Mincy. Kick is up. up and kick, kick is good. good. I'll make you score, Dodge County, 24, right. Evans County, 0. 24 to nothing. Dodge County over Evans County. 5.58 left in the first half. Sheffield to kick off. Yeah, from Mixon back deep to Evans. Dodge kick off. Uh, Dodge County ended up getting the ball back. Then the kick off. The camera went crazy. Not the camera, but my device that's holding the camera went crazy. And I missed it on camera. 
Dodge County took it down and scored a touchdown on that drive as well. Well, he's still up. It's going to bring up third down. Third and long, third and about 15, 14. Bring up third down to Evans County. Fourth down, they're gonna have to punt it again to dodge. Alvin Vicente in the punt. Duke Johnson, Cam Hughes. Blue, that's Cam over there. Deep to receive. All right, so 309 left in the first half. 24 nothing. Dodge County All Stars over Evans County All Stars. Dodge County is going to take over the ball first and 10 at the 20 yard line. All right, first and 15 after the illegal illegal motion. Duke Johnson. He's going to turn the corner. And that's going to be a touchdown, Dodge County. Jeremiah Austin. Jeremiah Austin. Jeremiah 
I don't know the Jeremiah Austin kid. Looks like Duke Johnson to me. He's going on anyway to the middle school, so. All right, minute 36 left in the half. Kane Mincy is getting ready to kick a field goal. Currently the score is 30 to nothing. So I will have a different feed for Four the minutes, third quarter. Minute 15, clock's running, minute 10. 32 to nothing. Dodge County leading Evans County. So Dodge, by winning this game, looks like they will advance to the state playoffs. Not, I'm not sure of any details on that. I'll be sure to find out. They're gonna stop the clock at right shy of 45 seconds. Side kicks no good. Ball has to go 10 yards. The Evans County ball right there on the Dodge 47 yard line. All right, 15 seconds left in the first half. Right turn at quarterback. Gonna be your first half. Thirty-two, nothing. Dodge County. Ken Hughes with the nice return. Tyrone Griffin, what's up, man? We'll be showing at Rome in one of Robin ga Robin's games Friday night. Hi, right, Cam Hughes with the nice return. However, who was in that legal block in the back? It's gonna come back. 32 nothing. Dodge County All Stars 12 and under over Evans County.
people by Noel Johnson. All right, Dale Johnson with a nice carry down to the 38-yard line. Six thirty-three left in the third in the third quarter. Dodge County on a move, looking to go up forty to nothing. And he's going to score. Jeremiah Austin. It's going to make the score 38 to 0. Dodge County pretty much scoring every time they get the ball with quite a few, just a few plays, I should say. Definitely overmatched compared to Evans County. Friday night we'll be in Warner Robins showing the Warner Robins and Rome game, 5, 5A. Oh, Mr. Field goal. 5A state playoffs. Rome High won the state championship 2017. Well, they won 16 and 17. But in 17, they won and beat Warner Robins in the state championship. Following year 2018, they matched up in the semifinals. And the Warner Robins beat Rome. So this will be round three. They're meeting a little earlier in the playoff this year. So we're looking forward to that game. So Friday night, if you're not doing nothing, join us in Warner Robins, Georgia. Right, here's the kick. It's going to be a shallow kick. Evans County will recover the kick. They'll start off first and 10. Right around the 44 yard line. We're going to put it at the 46. Currently, the score is 38 to 0. Jet Sweet picks up about three from the care. Coach is not happy. <laughs> Do got a man down. It's currently the score is 38 to nothing. Dodge County All-Stars leading Evans County All-Stars. 4.30 left in the third quarter. Winner of this game will advance to the state playoffs. This is the district playoffs. Not sure where Evans County is. Somewhere down this way. Player is getting up, making it off the field on his own. Ball carry is number 20, Cordas. All right, so here we go, Evans County. 
ball at the 46 yard line. Hands it off. Turns the corner. It's going to take it up to about the 51, 50, uh, 50, 49 yard line. Sorry about that. Third down short. It's going to be third and short. Evans County first down. They're going to call it first down. So Evans County. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Nixon takes a handoff up the middle. He's tackled by a host of Indians. All right, looks like the Evans coach is trying to work in the remaining players that have not played. Two guys coming out. One guy went in. <laughs> Who told you to come out? Jesse. <laughs> Spin move. All right, Evan sends some offense. Gonna be about the 29 yard line. Timeout Dodge County. Two fifteen left in the third quarter. First down, Evans County in the Dodge twenty eight yard line. Incomplete pass. Pass play for Evans County. Pass will be incomplete. That may be the first pass play of the game for Evans. Continue to number five, Maddox Lewis. Jeremiah Austin with the tackle. Minute 20 and third quarter clock's running. Oh, you lose about six yards. It's going to be third down here. Bring up third down for Evans County. He just went down, avoided the contact. Probably not a bad idea. All right, timeout, Evans County. Timeout, Evans County. It's 
going to be 33.3 seconds left in the third quarter. 38 nothing. Dodge County. Seeing my device have corrected itself, I did a rebalance. Of course, I'm going to be nervous, so I'll be testing it out multiple times between now and Friday night. Definitely don't want it acting up on the big game. All right, here we go, fourth down. They're gonna go for it on fourth down. And it's gonna be knocked down by Austin, incomplete. Turnover on down. Turnover on down. Clock's running at 20 seconds. I'll take us to the fourth quarter with your score, Dodge County 38. Evans County Zero. Receiver slightly. Pass. It's gonna be 747 left in the game. Dodge County up 38 to nothing. 38 to nothing. Dodge County leading Evans County. Going into the fourth quarter. Right, nice formation there. Drops the snap. And I believe he's going to get back on it. Evans County has a lot of smaller guys. But they also have a few big guys. Hence, big number 72. Just made a tackle there. Nice tackle. Smith is his name. Between Cam Hughes coming up in the high school a few years and Luke Johnson and the Austin fella and quite a few other players out there. Sheffield and Mincy. Gonna have a pretty good team coming up in the future at the high school level. That's why I like to come look at these games when I can to kind of let you know what the future is going to be looking like. Right, he's going to keep it. To turns the corner. Running north to south at the 20. And he's taking out around a 15 yard line. Nice downfield blocking by Butler that time. Butler, Dawson Butler, that's another one that's going to be very good coming in the near future. First and 10, Dodge County at the 16 yard line of Evans County. A lot of potential for Dodge County in the future. Oh. 
All right, here we go. First and 10, five minutes left to go in the game. 38 nothing. Dodge over Evans. Shotgun position, gonna hand it off to Johnson. He's going to juke a guy, take it inside. Cuts back, and he walks over the end zone. Touchdown, Dodge County. 44, Evans County, zero. So Evans County, definitely not much competition. Dodge County will walk into the state playoffs. Not sure who they will play or when it starts or any information like that, but I will see if I can get it. I do know there's a game Thursday night. Uh, I believe the 10 and under. Uh, no that misses the kick. I believe it's the 10 and under All-Stars. I think they'll be playing at Hazelhurst. Not 100% sure about that. But I believe that's what I heard. It is a running clock. Three minutes and 35 seconds left. Just a reminder, Friday night we'll be live at the MAC. Warner Robins at the Rome Wolves come to town. Also right up the road in Peach County, Calhoun will come to town. Dublin has a home game, I believe, against, uh, I can tell you if I wasn't thinking about it. Bremen, 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 that is in North Georgia as well. Thomasville put Dodge County out. They will host Pepperell. So a lot of teams in the Rome area will be traveling this way next next couple days. Dodge County definitely had a good shot at beating Thomasville. And we would have been making that trip up to Lindell, Georgia. Came down to the end and wasn't able to quite pull it off. Right, we've got 215 left to go in the game. 44 nothing. Evans County is gonna get their last possession of the game. Nothing happening on first down. Here by number nine, Trip Green. At this point you you want to get on the board. Nobody won't say goose egg, as they say. So I'm sure Evans County would like to get on the board. They haven't been able to move the ball at all, pretty much all night. It is cold. These guys are young, elementary and young middle school age kids. So just want them to have fun and stay safe. Big hit by the defender there. Minute 15 left to go in the game. Sheffield. Sheffield. All right, clock's just under a minute. It's gonna toss it. It's gonna try to turn the corner. Too much of a size difference between the two defenders. Two players, I mean. Number one right there. Not sure who that is. Green. Green. Brought down by Mincy. Oh, Mincy, number one. Okay, Mincy, the kicker. Also plays quarterback. 15 seconds on the clock. All right, that's going to do it. They're not going to run another play. So Dodge County, 12 and under All-Stars, beat Evans County All-Stars 44 to nothing. They will advance to the state playoffs.
Appreciate you guys tuning in to the Dean Network. We'll see you guys Friday night live from Warner Robins as the Warner Robin Rules play the Rome. Oh, I'm sorry, Warner Robins Demons play the Rome Wolves. Appreciate you guys joining. Wish you tell your players good job when you see them. Dodge County players, thanks for joining in.